So this video is on representation theory and we are still doing some revisions on linear algebra. And <clears throat> we are going to check some further notions from linear algebra. Right now we are going to see this concept of uh, invariant subspace. So if x is a uh, one of the endomorphisms or the set of all endomorphisms in a space V and W is a subspace of V do not forget in a previous video we we decided that this is going to be a the notation for subspace here so W so this W is a subspace of a vector space V. Uh, w is called X invariant if for any A in X so and W in W in the subspace, this is an element in the subspace, we have A. A is in the set X set of endomorphisms. A times uh, the, el the element is in the subspace. That means if x times uh, the subspace is also a subspace. In linear algebra usually we say a invariant invariant subspace right we use this invariant subspace that's what you usually call it in linear algebra but here we are seeing that um, a subspace uh, is invariant depending on the mapping okay so here that's why we have to add this concept here in a certain way comparing with basic linear algebra we are adding something here and this is this set of um, mappings or uh, endomorphisms of the vector space so basically uh, that's what a invariant subspace is or invariant to the x morphisms okay so that's x invariant w is called the subspace is called x invariant if uh, this uh, condition um, uh, happens and it's obvious that now this is going to be linked with the theory of Huygen values and Huygen vectors so uh, we quickly re recall here this very well-known fact that if lambda is a complex number and if this lambda is an eigenvalue of A where A is in the endomorphisms if lambda I minus A that's the the way you take the, the eigenvalues right uh, so if lambda is a complex number this means that so it will be an eigenvalue if this is not invertible or we can say that in, in a different way if uh, we are used to this too. Um, if a times v equals lambda v um, of course for a v different from zero so the the eigenspace the eigenspace so this is the eigenvalue right right so the eigenspace uh, for this lambda here will be the set v lambda where you have v is in the vector space right such that so this right a v equals lambda v okay so this this will be the set the of the this will be the the eigenspace 
the eigenspace corresponding to this lambda. Okay? And of course, this is this is well known too that this is a subspace. Uh, this eigenspace will be a subspace of V.